Hi everyone, I have some more photos for you, and quite a few thoughts too. I have mixed feelings about these pictures, and I'll do my best to share my conflicting ideas. These are all from four rolls of Kodak Gold 200, and the Fujifilm Natura Classica point and shoot. It's a really nice camera, which I'll talk much more about another time I'm sure. I used to own one about 15 years ago, and recently found a slightly worn version online for a really great price. I felt good to be using the same familiar camera again after so many years. I took all of these photographs over just a couple of days around my hometown of St Ives and the neighbouring village of Hemingford Grey. It's where my parents live and where I grew up from around the age of 10. We had the sunniest May on record this year, so I took advantage of the light and the warmth to just go around and enjoy documenting where I live. And I enjoyed it so much, I walked around in the sunshine without a single care in the world. My senses were full of the sounds and colours of springtime. There was no deadline, no rush, no worry. I was as in the moment as I have ever been. On the left here is the primary school I went to when we first moved to the village. And this is the church where my nana and granddad were married on Boxing Day in 1941, a couple of years into the Second World War. This house in Hemingford Grey is fascinating. It's known as the Manor House or Green No. It is one of the oldest continually inhabited houses in the country and was built in 1130. When you master one aspect of photography, and that is simply enjoying it, it doesn't matter quite so much how your pictures are. I think I once said that if I spent a whole day taking photos and none of them came out, I wouldn't mind so long as walking around with my camera helped me see the world and enjoy the day. There's a lot of truth in that, but there's only one way to test it. Well, when I got my pictures back from my chilled out couple of days in the sunshine, I was really quite disappointed. So many of the photos look faded, dull and unsaturated, and I think overexposed. Not all of them, of course, and to some scenes it lends a delicate, soft look that's extremely pleasant and pastely. When things go wrong or right in photography, it's always good to know why. You see, what I did here is a rubbish science experiment. There are too many variables to know which caused the pictures to look how they did. The pictures are mostly washed out and pale, and many highlights have quite blotchy details. It's much worse when you pixel peep, but I don't want to get into that here. It reminds me of when I last shot and scanned Kodak Gold, but with a different camera. It's difficult to know if it's me, the film, or the scanner that affected things most. Wow, it seems that I really do care how my photos look. Maybe I'm not such a hippie after all. What I might do is start digitizing my negatives with a camera and macro lens. People seem to get great results that way, and then I might take a new look at these negatives another time. I might be being a bit harsh on myself about these pictures, but I think I'm being especially critical right now for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the last film pictures I got back were shot on Velvia 50, and I got them scanned by the lab that developed them. Those colours nearly knocked me out and put a big smile on my face when I first saw them. So just by comparison, these seem a little lacklustre. The other reason is that I feel I've rescued these a bit in Lightroom, rather than applying a light edit. I haven't done anything crazy, but when I started making adjustments, it mostly felt that I was attempting to breathe life into something that wasn't inspiring me in the first place. Very recently I've had a couple of people suggest that I show my pictures completely unedited, I appreciate how useful this might be, but I can't bring myself to turn my videos into a collection of unedited test shots. With digital, I do anything and everything I can to make the image I want, but with film I hold back much, much more. I do want the pictures to be useful and reflect the camera and film and lens, but I don't want to be completely bound by it. I think I've found a good balance. Most importantly, I think it's important to be open and not claim that pictures are straight out of the camera, or straight out of the scanner even. Sorry if this is too much information, but I do like to let you know what I'm thinking. 
Of course, we still have lots of social and travel restrictions in England because of the pandemic. I think these hometown pictures are certainly a result of that. Like I said, I really enjoyed taking the pictures, but I won't pretend I'm not looking forward to being able to travel a bit more. I might even venture out to Cambridge soon. As always, it's really nice showing you around town and chatting mostly about photography to you. Thanks everyone for watching and also for helping me reach 4,000 subscribers. It's so nice to have people to share my pictures with. Thanks again everyone, see you very soon.